Because they were asking me, and they're like a little frustrated, like a, you yeah. know, you're an old mascot. And there's, 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 oh, yeah. I can't help them with their feelings or how they're feeling. But, we're just um, taking some video of the people in there. That's all. Okay. Hey, they got cameras. <laughs> Maybe. What's the story, guys? What's the story? Dang, they actually, they got, they, they got the film, film crew pulling up. Sheesh. See, how are they complaining about us being here when they have a film crew pulling up? <laughs> what the hell? Hey, you guys have a fire hazard. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Y
So can you define harassment if you're going to accuse us of it? Well, yeah, I wouldn't. If I'm sitting there, I wouldn't want somebody to stand. Okay, there but that's not harassment. Harassment. You think is, it's polite? It, 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 well, polite is perspective. That might be you, you might know, see. You, it. Don't, you think it's very polite? I, I think so. Polite? I think educating people about our bill of rights is absolutely polite, no matter the forum. So why do you have to educate them about bill of rights? Why not? But why do you need to? Because they obviously don't because know. Because they're not aware. So if they're not aware, don't they deserve to know and be made aware of our Bill of Rights? And it's their rights So too. you mean your Bill of Rights is to stand here and take pictures of them using it as a No, no, but it's, our, it's a way for us to educate people you on not, our Bill of Rights. You, you are making them feel... It's your rights too. You make them feel uncomfortable? I can't, I can't solve that problem. So like, but it, so don't you think that there's a more pleasant way to try people to... People don't listen when you do it pleasant, do they? They only feel uncomfortable because they don't understand. So pleasant is the school system that has failed. Well, everybody see, and doesn't teach people but their you see, rights. To me, the whole problem is the way you dress. So, she hates that we are using our First Amendment to dress in the ways we want and creating that level of privacy we demand while out in public. Automatically. Miss, what's wrong with privacy? Privacy? Ma'am, you gotta privacy. create. Yeah, no. why can't they have privacy? But you have to there? create your own level of privacy. Why can't they have privacy? Hey, let me answer, let me answer. They, they can create their own privacy. For example, they can put a mask on, they can move tables. Why would they have to move tables from there when this is If inside? you don't want to be seen, why would you sit in a giant fishbowl? You guys are crazy. Absolutely crazy. Where are you going? All right. Where are you going? Let's keep talking. We can. What's that? So we are practicing our first amendment right to right. So why you are filming all so this? So we're reminding people as part of this that you're being filmed in public everywhere you go at all times. You see the lights, the cars are filming you now, Tesla's got cameras all over them. Oh. Filming, recording you 24-7. Every building you walk by in front of or into is filming you 24-7. And if you want to demand or expect privacy while you're in public, to be honest with you, you can visit the person who creates that level of privacy if they want. This is so it's fair. performative art. Kind of. You can call it that. Social so beautiful smile. You, know, you can't not want to be filmed. Thank you guys you. are beautiful. Yeah, thank you. You, you guys, guys are good. look good too, but your masks. Hey, I put my best face on because my wife told me I have to do this so, so that people aren't scared. Oh, okay. Thank you. 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 Thank I think she meant come up and take pictures. Take spots, take pictures. We're not going in. Yeah, but you don't have to take pictures, you guys have to actually ask. What do you mean? Why can't we take pictures? We're on a public sidewalk, ma'am. Okay. Looks like she has a lot of uh, police guys. That's the way it goes. Hey, there you go. There he goes. Created a little privacy. Nice. Now the barbershop is closed. What are you doing? Capturing beautiful faces. technology here. You have a camera and you're filming. Okay, no, this is recording. Stop. I'm recording. Stop. Having fun? Yes, all day. I'm glad to hear that. And I Thank you, sir, for being so kind. I hope he's doing well. I really love your hat. Filming is a little different. I'm recording. Bullshit. Yeah. Recording is the same as filming, so stop your bullshit. I'm not stopping anything. Okay, okay, but you don't disclose that, but you guys are. We don't have to disclose that, sir. Okay. All right. What are you recording? What happened? What are you recording? Well, now you. But what is it? I can't. Ooh. 
so I don't understand what's what happened? I don't understand what's going on. But I mean, do you have to understand? I do have to understand. Why do you have to understand? I just want to know. Is this political? What is this? It's not political at all. Well, then what is it? I just. I I'm just not going to share that with you right now. Okay. You know, you're not. You walked out kind of aggressive. You got in his face. I didn't. Gr I just said, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? That's okay. what I said. But you, you got really close here. to him. Did I get that close? Yeah, you got very close. Oh, you guys are those. All right. We're those. So suddenly you're gonna put us in a box? What are those? I bet your answer, I bet your ancestors wouldn't feel great about putting people in a box. I don't know. If I was coming to talk to you guys, yeah. if I could help you out in any way, that's. Cool. I don't need your help, but I appreciate the offer. Okay. I'm assuming you do plumbing, but I don't have any plumbing issues right now. Yeah. I bet this dude wasn't expecting that answer. He might have some backed up issues he needs to deal with himself. Well, I assume you guys are doing filming. Unless but leaky butt counts as a plumbing issue. I like that. That's actually from the barber down the street. They're really friendly. Yeah. That's a really smart business card too. Yeah. Awesome. You should get one shaped like a toilet for plumbing. Yeah. Hey, that would actually be kind of smart if you think about it. I don't know. I'm just wondering why yeah. you guys are doing it. That's all. So I'll tell you a little bit. Yeah. We are I'm not, I'm not being hostile. No, no, no. I just wanted to That's know. fine. Since we were able to joke around a little bit, I'll tell you. So we are exercising our First Amendment rights. We are also reminding people that you're being filmed everywhere you go, every time you leave the house, over a hundred times a day, mm -hmm. all right? And that if you want and demand or expect privacy while you are out in public, and that includes eating on a visible area in private that's accessible to the public through the eyes, then the onus and responsibility is on you to create the level of privacy that you want and demand from people. So that's what we've done here. We've created our own privacy. Free speech. Yep. Free press. Free speech, free press, freedom of religion. Why don't you guys say that? Well, we did. That. I just said I love that. No, no, no. no, no I just said we're expecting. Well, it's on my that. shirt. It's like I a highlighter. That. Yeah, it's because if we just give it out, it, we're trying to test to see if our rights are respected. Oh, okay. Okay. Exactly. okay. It's an exercise hey, of rights. I'm with you guys. Thank you for respecting our rights, sir. Perfect. A thousand percent. Awesome. Don't even, you know. I appreciate it. You know, it's some other people, though. No, you know, it is what it is, but that's, yeah. so part of the reason why very few people know our rights in this, in this day and age, in this country, which is weird, is it's not, it's no longer in, like, our education system is failing in massive numbers. We're, we rank 29th in the world, which is ridiculous. And I agree a thousand percent. How do you, how do you teach, so how do you teach people that don't want to listen or didn't learn? Yeah. You teach them through shock and awe. So presenting it in this way, okay. you don't, like if I put this camera on the pole right here, nobody would pay any mind to it. Yeah. But as soon as it's attached to a person dressed like this, guess what? They're going to pay attention. They're going to ask questions. They're going to respond to it. They're going to freak out and run away. Yeah. It, it's a shock and awe. But I guarantee you, those people that ran away, they're going to go inside. They're going to have a conversation. At some point, somebody's going to tell them what happened today. So we have educated them even without having to educate them. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing out here. That's all I want, you know, because sometimes you get people... You're fine, but are, there's a reason we make people ask multiple times. And part of part of that is because we've gone into explaining and sharing with somebody who came off really good in the beginning. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And flipped the script and started screaming and yelling and uh, insulting us. And so we actually test people a little bit to see if they actually really want to know or if they just want to know because they want to respond to it. So, okay, all right. I appreciate it. No, 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 I didn't know, you know. I didn't... Look... Good. I see guys, they're filming stuff, you know, skateboarding, yep. and in my opinion, with, if you're not being destructive, skate wherever you want. Absolutely. You know, a big, that's why yeah. I'm saying, and you know, I'm, I'm for that. A lot of people would be like, why are you for that when it's, you know, it's destructive? Do you think skateboarding is destructive? I've never really heard that term used before when describing that. Comment below if you skateboard. I can see where you would rather than being doing that than out there yeah, graffiti. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Or in a gang, you know. Or trying so, to skate somewhere dangerous yeah, themselves. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you know what? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm absolutely for what you guys. Do. I appreciate that. You know, as long as it's going to a good cause. Absolutely, I appreciate it. You know, I love your candor and. No, you no, know. no. Yeah, it's just There's nothing nefarious, you know. It's just, Nothing nefarious, just some pictures, videos. Yeah. Now, I know you look like you don't need a haircut because you look fabulous, by the way. But that, that <laughs> no, I'm looking card. at this. I'm, uh, 
I'm impressed by this. Yeah, it's a few doors down. Now, they weren't really polite to us, but we're still promoting them because every small business deserves a chance. So. Why, why weren't they polite? Oh, they, we were we were literally just walking by and she came out and screamed at us about filming in public. So I was like, all right, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. Okay, I got a cool business card. Yeah, but they yeah, do have that, so we had to give them that. Yeah. But, Nobody's called anybody on you guys? Well, we've had the police call like 10 times already, but they're not going to do anything or respond to it. Okay. No. We're not doing anything unlawful. No, no, no. no. It just sucks because when the police come, they tell the people, well, unfortunately, they're allowed yeah. to do that, which is a really bad missed opportunity for the law enforcement to educate people on the rights by using the word unfortunate. So it's like, in their eyes, they're spreading this, this fearful notion that our rights are unfortunate, and it sucks, but, you know. Wonderful. What's your name? My name is Brian. Brian? My yeah. name is Mike. Mike, nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to see what was going on. He actually apologized. Thank you, sir. A lot of people hate to realize they messed up in the beginning, but it's great to see them come through and support what we do. I'm out here. I'm just, you know, relaxing. We have about 200 interactions a day, so we gauge kind of how interactions go based on our experiences. Yeah. You have changed my mind on how you approach this. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I just wanted to know. Absolutely. Again, when I first saw you guys, I didn't, I didn't see your shirt. I thought it was something like skateboarding or you know something just you know, just that's just i wish i was young enough to jump on a board yeah that right now, so that's all head. i thought it was i was like hey you know what i'm for that you yeah. know but i'm even more for what you guys are about so i appreciate that you guys man have a wonderful day, you yeah, have a day. Thank, thank you thank you and i really do love you <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about your eternal life. So standing your life is short. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're gonna throw religion in this situation. No, no, if you're doing religion sure. that way, you're doing it wrong, and you're going to hell. You're going to hell. Dude was so fast to say that back. I wonder how many times he's been told that. No, you. I I can't go to hell because your religion is fake. Oh, I don't believe in hell. Your religion is fake. I know. I know. I'm gonna go to heaven. If I die today, I don't have to go to heaven. Jesus said I am the way that you take the life. No, no, you believe in Jesus. No, you can't intentionally behave like a pig and then expect forgiveness. That's not how it works. No, no, I'm not. I'm not behaving like I'm telling you. How do you know I'm going to heaven or hell? How do you know? Because you're a bad person. No, no, I'm not a bad person. You're a bad person. You're taking pictures of people. That's bad. Is that nice? That's lawful. I'm allowed to do that under free, you know, First Amendment. Yeah, but how do you feel when you're eating someone taking picture of you? I don't mind. I'll smile. I'll be like, hello. I'll be like, hi. Give him a high five. It's not rude. It's not rude. She is still trying to get him to leave us alone, but he won't. Now you're going up everywhere being an asshole. And now you're going to be famous for being a dick. If you repent, you're going to go to hell. Hey, that's your fairy tale, not mine. That's a fact. No, really? Prove it right now. Prove it. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Prove it. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Prove it. You're full of shit. Prove it. Prove it right now. You're swearing. I'm going to go to heaven. You're swearing. Prove it. You're swearing. You're swearing. I don't want to go to a fake place. It's imaginary land. It's like Santa Claus. Do you also believe in Santa? Are you going to go to heaven? Do you also believe in Santa Claus? Are you going to go to heaven? I don't believe in religious. I don't buy into that crap. Are you going to go to heaven? Are you going to go to heaven? It doesn't matter. Listen to your wife and go. How do you know heaven exists? What if you what if you just die? The Bible talks about heaven. What if you just die? If I die, I'm going to go to heaven. Okay, what if you don't? What if you just die and that's it? But I'm gonna go to heaven if I die. I don't want to go to heaven. What if that's not a thing? What, if you've, what if you've been fed lies? What if you've been fed lies? What if you've been fed lies? What I what? What happens if you've been fed lies and there is no heaven? The Bible is the word of God. It's not the lie. The no, it's not. It's yes, written by human. The Bible is the word of man. The Bible is the word of God. You don't the Bible was written by men. What do you mean it was written by man? How do you not know that? How do I know this? Let's get closer so we have to shut. The Bible is written by men through their voice of God. It's inspired. The Bible is inspired. Okay. And you know what but you know what else is inspired? Rudolph what? the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's a wonderful story inspired the by Bible fairy tale. The Bible is inspired tale. by the Holy Spirit, right? He's looking back at her for answers. LOL. Phone a friend. The Holy Spirit. You got it wrong, buddy. No, I don't got it wrong. The Bible is the word of God. You got it wrong. 
If you don't repent, if you don't give your life to Jesus, you're gonna go to hell. So are you for no, saying no, that? I already gave my life to Jesus. I am already saved. I already no, you're not. Jesus. You can't be saved and then act like a dead. I'm not acting like this. You're dead. You did. You are aggressive. You are aggressive. You are aggressive. Apologize to me right now. Forgiveness. Management. Hello, Impact. Hey, Monday evening again. Hi. Good videos today, the 14th. Uh, watching uh, the Jets and the Bills, 2020 tie, good ball game Monday night. Always like a good ball game. Um, like to see Aaron Rodgers lose for obvious reasons. He's <laughs> like the um, Alex Jones or Tucker Carlson of the NFL with his con conspiracy theories <laughs> about uh, the uh, the vaccines that are making the frogs gay and all his other wild shit. But uh, I was watching uh, a True North Transparency yes. video. The guy does really good work. Yes. And I don't know if I've seen you uh, capture him with your We have featured format. him. He's actually called in. If you I haven't have. tried. Mm -hmm. But I just had to point something out. Twice. Because, Three times. Uh, he was outside of uh, a cannabis shop. Mm -hmm. And the people were uncomfortable. So they called the police mm -hmm. and the two officers that responded, there was one lady officer and he was questioning the officer. I don't know why you're here. No crime is being broken. And she said, well, we called here because these people were feeling uncomfortable with your photography. <laughs> so he made the statement like I've heard a million times. Uh, are you feelings enforcement or law enforcement? And she actually said, well, we do both. Oh, no. And the auditor was just kind of flabbergasted, as I was, too, watching the video. And she Damn, you gotta find that really one. made the statement like, you know, if they're feeling uncomfortable, we have to kind of, we have to come out and enforce those feelings. That's crazy. And I just couldn't believe what this law enforcement officer Yeah, there you go. Point that out. Your L-E-O. Not F E O. Yeah. And uh, finally got put in a place that uh, there's no situation ever that somebody's feelings get put above somebody's right. Exactly. But I was just astounded that uh, she thought her job was to come out and enforce the feelings of someone because they were uncomfortable. Yeah, I agree with that for sure. I think that's all messed mm -hmm. up. Um, wow, we got you have to find that one. Definitely, he's got to find that one. We'll mm -hmm. try to air it soon. Uh, let's go ahead and take this next call. Management. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've adopted your laugh. Lovely. And my wife hates it. She lovely, hates laugh, lovely. She hates it when I laugh like that. <laughs> but I like to laugh like that. So there's nothing wrong with. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I do want to say that oh, Lord. I like the content you've made. I like mm -hmm. the content with you and your sons. Yep. I, I prefer to hear your sons talk more. <laughs> no, I, that's wrong. I, pre I like what you say, <laughs> but I, I'd like to hear more of what they say because they're I agree. smart guys. You know? Believe it or not, he just doesn't talk much. He really yeah. doesn't. He just does not talk that much in general. Um, so, you know, I try, I try, we're working on I it. Try. I try, I try. We're working on it. We try. Um, not just you taking over and talking over everybody. Uh -oh. I hate it when you talk to everybody, <laughs> but your, your kids, they, they, your adopted children, they're great. Yeah. They're smart. They have smart things to say. Thank and they're you. calm and they're cool and collected. Yeah. I feel like that. But I don't like watching, I mean, I, I watch you every day. Or I have watched you, you guys every day in tech media and all your stuff, but now you don't do anything anymore or that I've noticed. And all I see is you're commenting on other auditors' stuff. Yes. 
So part of our new format right now is that we're doing that, and I understand that you know it might be not that might not be your thing. Holy crap! <laughs> um, but we are enjoying doing it. I really love doing it. Um, it is keeping us out of harm's way. People in Southern California have lost their goddamn mind when yeah. it comes to people exercising their rights. And I think that um, we're just done getting attacked all the time. The PTSD is a real thing. Um, I come from an extremely abusive home. I got fractures on my fingers still. I talked about that. Scars all over my head. They came from an extremely abusive home growing up. And so it's just, you know, it, it's it's a bit much to take on a daily. It was becoming a daily basis. Um, every time we were out there, people were going hands-on, attacking. It's just, it's not a fun thing to deal with. And so we have decided to step back from doing that. We're going to continue the educational platform by doing what we're doing here. Um, and I think that still gives us a huge voice and it allows us to showcase, search out, find and showcase other people who deserve a huge voice as well and try to share their platforms and make people aware that, I mean, there's a lot of auditors out there that some people wouldn't otherwise find. Mm -hmm. And so we've been able to introduce people to it. You know, people comment every day. Oh, I love this person. I followed him. Thank you. Like uh, we've had a couple of people we featured email us or call in and say, thank you so much. It means a lot. You know, I'm a small page. I thank you so much. And even a couple of big pages. Um, it is our new platform. Enjoy it. Not enjoy it is what it is. Um, hopefully we'll see you there and you guys stick around. Um, it is the new way we're going to be doing things moving forward. Um, it's just, you know, personal choice, you know, and we are going to figure out how to best continue to educate people and showcase the audit, you know, the auditing movement. And that's what we're doing here. In fact, we have uh, another channel starting next week. We're going to be doing some similar highlights, um, but, you know, it's going to be it's going to be all fun. Um, stick around, watch the ones you, that you want to watch, peek in once in a while. If you want to just do that, give us a comment, give us a call three, two, three, uh, six, four, five, zero, four, one, zero on occasion. I'd love to hear from you, but yeah, just, you know, we'll, we'll, we're, we're, we're getting there, man. We're going, we're going.